<clears throat> Subscribe. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? Um, Song 56. Uh, this quick video is um, it's not really all about bodybuilding because most of my audience are teenagers, so and you know college students, some are you know a bit older. But it's about daily management, pretty much. You know, designing your day, planning your day ahead of time. I personally always plan my day the night before. Before I go to sleep, I set, I give myself 15 minutes to plan my next day. Why is that so important? If you do not plan your next day, so much shit can happen and ruin all your plans. You end up, somebody calls you and invites you somewhere and says you didn't have nothing planned anyway. You go out there, you eat, you eat junk food, you and with school and work. And bodybuilding is very important to plan your day because bodybuilding is a sport that requires a lot of discipline. A lot of discipline, guys. With your diet, your training, cardio, things like that. Um, so how do I plan my day? It's quite simple. I use five laws, five basic principles that, you know, I just learn through trial and error and I had to write it down. Number one, I write down, I plot a piece of paper, right? And I write down everything I have to do that, you know, the next day. So me as a college student, as a tutor, I got to, you know, you know, brush up on my mathematics and read chapters, things like that, and eat my meals, all these things, right? So I just write everything I have to do the next day on a piece of paper and usually fills up the whole thing. Then I write down, number one, you pick a task. Uh, let's say you have to read chapter three, right? You write down what you have to do. You write down what, what, what I have to do. You write down, read chapter three. Then once you have that set, that little goal, number two, you write down how long it's gonna take you to read chapter three, right? I actually made a software. I'm just gonna skip that, that part. So say you have to read chapter three, it's 20 pages and it's two minutes each. You do 20 minutes times, you know, two. Here's your estimate of how long it's going to take. If your goal is to go to the gym and do chest or triceps, tell yourself how long is that going to take. So write down next to every, next to every goal, every, every activity that you have to do, every task, write down how long it's going to take you to accomplish that. It's very important. That's the second important thing. The third important, you got to write down which hour you're going to do it. What time are you going to do it? If you, don't, if you tell yourself tomorrow I'm going to do this, but you don't tell yourself what time are you going to do it, you're gonna you're gonna get up in the morning, do something else, and be like, oh, I'll do that later. Oh, I'll do that later. Oh, I'll do that later. Next thing you know, it's ten o'clock at night, you know, and you just don't feel like doing it. So make sure you write down what you have to do, right? That's the goal. Second, you you know, you write the duration, how long it's gonna take. This way, you know, I'm gonna do it from three to four or from five to six, you know. Number three, what, what time you're gonna do it, and number four, the deadline. Give yourself a deadline on that specific task. Tell yourself by seven o'clock. This has to be done by 2 p.m., whatever. This has to be done. This way, you know, boom, 2 o'clock, I'm doing this. It's going to take me 30 minutes. Boom, boom, by 2.30, 3 o'clock, I should be done. Right? Do that for every task. And the final stage is the um, the neutralizer. I call it the neutralizer. What is that? I all, even When I have to do something that I hate doing, I always neutralize it by mixing it with something fun. For example, if you hate doing legs, well, make a, a playlist of your most favorite songs and don't listen to those songs until leg day so this way you give yourself something positive in the midst of the negative so you go in the gym you're like fuck I don't like doing legs but you have that playlist that you haven't listened for like a whole week press play as you're doing legs this way you you're actually looking forward to doing legs because you know that's the only time you're gonna listen to those beastie songs um, or another example of neutralizing is um, if I have to read a chapter like today I had to read chapter 4 of fucking psychology I told myself alright first the task is read psychology it's gonna take me 40 minutes. Number three, I'm gonna do it at 2.30, and I'm gonna be done by 3, 3.45, right? And the neutralizer is Skyrim. I tell myself, all right, I'm gonna, after I'm done playing that, I'm gonna hop on Skyrim, right? And then if, later on, I have to do homework, and I tell myself, fuck, I don't wanna do homework, but I'm gonna neutralize it with Call of Duty. So this way I know, boom, at seven o'clock, I'm doing my homework, but at 7.30, I'm playing Modern Warfare 3, you know, or Modern Warfare 2, whatever. So make sure you, you attach something that you love to some to every tag that you hate. I'm gonna repeat that. Excuse my accent. Attach something that you love to something that you hate. So if you have to do, I don't care what it is, you know, it, write down a list of all the things you love and write down the task, all the things that you have to do that next day and kind of like attach. I don't know if you could tell, but I kind of have like lines connecting my assignments to something that I love. This way, I'm getting, you know, I'm neutralizing it, you know, I'm actually going to have fun doing that hour. I'm going to do something that I hate, but I'm going to also do something that I love. Right? If you do it like that, I'm t I guarantee you, your day will be perfect and like smoothless. Uh, did I just say smoothless? I'm going crazy. Um, yeah, in about 10 minutes, I got to read another chapter and I neutralized it with um, Metal Gear Solid 4. So as soon as I finish reading that chapter, I'm playing a fun game. So yeah, that's just my advice on you guys. Just um, 
Plan your day in advance, guys. Like, remember, number one, write down what you have to do. Number two, write write down how long it's going to take you to do it. Number three, write down what time you're going to do it. Number four, give yourself a deadline for finishing that. And number five, neutralize it. Mix it with something that you love. This video's over. Thanks, guys. Subscribe, subscribe. 500 subscribers going for 1,000.